The GTA Online Chop Shop DLC is out, and as you probably know, now you can actually buy cop cars in the game, finally after 10 years. But there is actually a way to get a police outfit as well, and yes, you can keep it forever. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. If you enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this, let's go. Okay, first thing to know is that this, I believe, is technically a glitch, I'm not too sure, and you'll see why when I actually get into the explanation, but I'm not going to tell Rockstar so you're not allowed to tell Rockstar either. This is our secret. First thing you need to do is buy the new salvage yard business. Yep, I know it is a bit expensive, but that's the only way to do it. Then you need to start up the gangbanger robbery. Now, the vehicle robberies in the salvage yard are gonna rotate weekly, but at least for the week I'm recording this video in, the first week this came out, you're gonna wanna start up the Omagio robbery. All right, for this week that I'm recording this video, the Omagio is the one that is the gangbanger robbery. After that, you're gonna have to do all of the setups and tasks for this robbery. You're gonna have to get to the finale, basically. So complete the two actual setups up missions and then complete the three tasks as well. To do that, you have to do these ones in free roam. There'll be a little green bag, little duffel bag on your minimap. You're going to have to go over there and complete all of those. So anyway, once you're in the finale, you want to start the robbery, start up the final mission. At this point, you're not actually going to want to do the mission. So you can see when we start this finale, we are wearing the police outfit, but it's going to go away after the mission. So we need a way to actually save this outfit. Now, I don't think Rockstar wants us to do this this because they won't let us go in any of our existing properties. You're locked out of all of your properties during this mission. However, you aren't locked out of your terabyte. So if you don't have a terabyte, yes, you are also going to need to buy a terabyte. This unfortunately is not a cheap way to get this outfit, but it's the only way. So call in your terabyte through your interaction menu like I do here. Now, the strange thing is, it's actually not going to show up on your map. Yeah, Rockstar really does not want you using the terabyte in this mission. So, unfortunately, you're going to have to drive or fly around and try and find it. It is a pretty big truck, so it should be somewhat easy to see. It'll be near you. As you can see here, I actually spotted it pretty quickly. Luckily, it may take you a couple minutes to find, but hey, it's worth it if you can get the outfit. Once you find your terabyte, go inside, go over to your wardrobe, and here you can save it as a new outfit. And there you go. Yep, definitely think Rockstar did not want us to be able to do this. Maybe they're planning on releasing this outfit later. I'm not too sure, but hey, this is a way to get it forever. So there you go. That's the method. If this helps, again, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Find me on the mountaintop.